Have you noticed that it's almost entirely impossible to eat low carb when you go out to eat? Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another little low carb keto carnivore rant. And I've probably touched on this in other facets or other ways in the last uh, couple years, but you cannot, it's almost impossible to order any food that's truly low carb at any place. If, I mean, other than a dedicated low carb restaurant or maybe occasionally a, a barbecue place or something like that, that just serves like, you know, meat. Um, I mean, the last couple of weeks, like, I guess my family's been feeling bold and they want to order takeout from someplace and we go and pick it up or get it delivered. And I really can't, since I'm low carb keto carnivore, I can't really order anything. I mean, I can order whatever I want. I can order junk food and pizza, but I don't. But within my eating guidelines, I can't really order anything. And I've tried. I'm like, oh, I can't find anything at this place. Oh, let me try the wings. And in one place, the, the wings weren't even breaded. It was really good. But you could tell the way they, well, first of all, chicken is probably not good for the, uh, the uh, carnivore diet. It, it's just, at least random chicken from, from a commercial place isn't, isn't really that good. But you feel funny after eating it. And like, if you feel funny, there's no real point in eating it. Um, but, you know, we were going to order Thai tonight. And I'm like, oh, you know, let, let me order. My girlfriend said, let, let's order Thai. And I looked at the menu and like, about the best thing I could find was some sliced beef. And it comes with all sorts of other inflammatory vegetables. There was no car real processed carbs like or rice or pasta. It was just vegetables. But these vegetables that, that were in this dish were onions. And there was their sauce obviously has sugar. And also the Thai food I've eaten... 100% of the time has had copious amounts of MSG in it because I can't stop eating it. It's so good or perceived good. So you can't really eat out. And let's say I ordered this sliced beef with no sauce or the sauce on the side. You'd get like two ounces of meat, literally, for 17 or 20 bucks. I mean, it's there is no point even trying to find any kind of good food at a restaurant that's truly low carb. Because if you finally drill down to something that doesn't have anything that will spike your blood sugar, it'll be tremendously overpriced and really not all that good. You'll be, you'll be hungry eating two ounces of thinly sliced beef. So we're done. I, I, the food comes and I watch everybody enjoy their food or you know think they enjoy their food. And I just eat my leftover burgers or whatever sausages or whatever I cook on the grill the day before. That's it. I mean, I gave up. I, I don't feel bad. I'm not even going to try anymore unless some place comes around that has a distinctly separate and uh, per, uh, easily identifiable low carb section that absolutely has no added sugars or junky uh, ingredients or, or, or suspect uh, suspicious spices. So that's it. If you like the video, please hit the subscribe and the bell and all that other stuff. Check out our other videos um, and we appreciate your support. Have a great week ahead. Thank mm -hmm. you.